Fort Washington, briefly named Fort Warburton, was built between 1808 and 1809 to protect the capital. During the British invasion in 1814 to burn down Washington, D.C., the fort was destroyed by its own garrison to not let fall into the British hands. The fort was rebuilt and completed in 1824, renamed Fort Washington, remodeled in the 1840s and 1890s, and was used throughout the Civil War and World War I. During World War II, the base had served as a U.S. Army Adjutant General School. Fort Washington would turn into a national park, serving as a historical landmark of its long war history. So guys, if you don't know where I'm at, I'm at Fort Washington in Washington, D.C. It's more of a museum, historical place, but in a sense, it crosses that line of abandonment. Because there is some things here that are abandoned and we are gonna be getting into it. So enjoy. And there's Shani as she runs. I can't see you. <laughs> look at this. They're bubbles, they're cannibals. They look like cannibals, <laughs> or known as other cannibals. Look at the old furnace. Look at the old furnace. That's well cool. Can I actually open that up? Keep open. Number 27. What's this? Looks like a dungeon. It's a cellar. Looks like a little wooden fireplace there, maybe. another dungeon like oh this is nice it's like a cellar but yeah it's wine cellar but it could be but it's nice because it's more confined it's like a tunnel that just dead ends it's awesome This here is where the gun batteries would be, as it can swivel from side to side, just like the Baltimore Catacombs, which is AKA Fort Armistead, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen that, go take a look at that. 
right now. I will put the link up for that video. More gun batteries. At least where they were stationed, right? We had tons of these, didn't we? How many goes all the way down here? But look at this. That's the entrance right there. And that's down below. It's where we can actually get into the bottom of the fort inside the walls. That's a shiny brass one. Never seen one like that. Right, the cannon would actually face, you know, back towards the wall, and you can swivel it to aim it better across. If you don't know what a what batteries, what battery cannons did back then, but that's just a. A look at that and it would actually be in defense one down here in case of an evasion of any sorts now let's go look at more of the remnants here of the batteries And there's Shani all the way up there. So I just recently found out that the uh, the good old red coats, the Brits, tried uh, invading over here as well at this th at this fort. And um, careful. It, <laughs> it actually makes me feel really bad. You know, I I love America. I love everybody in it, and it makes my heart <laughs> hurt to hear how many times the red coats tried to invade and bomb everything. <laughs> but having said that, it's a really nice place, isn't it? We we, we, we got over our little ba battles, and now we're allies. Yes. So good. I'm yeah. glad. I'm I'm glad we all made friends in the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna get down here to the bottom of the fort. See what this is all about. We're gonna check it out. So these steps are pretty narrow. All right, let's start with the corner first. They might all intersect as one. Poison ivy, ugh. Oh wow, okay, so they're just like little rooms. Each and every one of them. Looks like a little window. See down there with a yacht. Go pick me up, yacht. All right, let's go check out another one and see if it's the same. I imagine it is. That's pretty unique to see a, a ventilating hole. Going this one. Okay, same deal. Literally the same 
with a ventilating hole as well. Very echoing here. Okay, so this one has what looks like bunk beds in here. They could be original or they could be, uh, oh, I think I see. This is the barracks, I'm guessing. Now guys, I'm not an expert. I know nothing on Fort Washington, really, except for it was a defense base. But um, as I said, I will be doing a little study and I will get enough information for this video by the time this video is released. So that's why I'm doing this now and I'm gonna tell the history later, which will be in the beginning of this video. So with that said, it looks like this is where the soldiers themselves will actually sleep and stuff. And then the other buildings on top up here would be where the generals or whatever. I, I'm, I'm only guessing. If you guys know more about this place than I, please consider yourself knowledgeable. Leave a comment about this place, your history, your experiences, anything here. That would be greatly appreciated. And we shall explore more for those who have not been here. Just another, a little better. All these are the same except for that one right there that had a few bunk beds. And, um, but I think uh, it's probable that all of these, uh, all these rooms had maybe beds or bunkers in them at once. Maybe even held artillery. I'm not for sure. Oh wow, these would actually be the, oh, this is where like the prison is. Wow, such cool to see, so cool to see an old jail, prison, whatever you want to call it, where they would actually keep the captured in these little cells here. That's cool. And here's where they would Stack up the uh, the wood, and there's your uh, wood chimney. Looks like a little bit of looks like Annabelleville horror, doesn't it? At the side of the house. <laughs> Let's walk down here towards the uh, the corner of uh, the back end corner of this fort. See where this goes. Might end up. It looks like a door to somewhere. Oh no closed but I'm sure that's just the other side of it it's gonna be outside it already feels cooler it's a hot day out yeah it's locked looks like another little part of it oh my gosh that is locked I'm sure some way somehow I can get down there let's go find a way later on as we explore this place a bit more. Okay, so guys, remember I said earlier that we're gonna get to some places that are abandoned? Technically, this part right here is abandoned. It's a little bit of, a little more of the Fort Washington here, and it's off limits near the corner. But guess what? We're doing it. We're getting to it, because we must. Okay, so I'm going to actually go down the corner here, make a right, a hard right, and down towards this. So let's do it and get over with. See you guys down there. So guys, I was coming down this way where Shani is, right? And I came down just, just hustling it just a little bit, and I lost my grip. And no kidding, this vine, this thick vine, 
caught my leg when I wrapped myself around it and kept me from falling down all the way down to the gate there. Ha, oh, I would have hurt myself big time. Guys, I got some luck. This little thing actually saved my life. All right, well, anyways, I'm halfway down. We might as well go and do the rest of it. If I can just get a, a grip. Okay, guys, I made it. Doesn't look so steep, but it is. And I lost my legging right here. I could have came all the way down backwards. Really hurt myself really bad with this bob wire fence. Oh, that would have been something to tell. But I'm glad I don't have to tell that story. But anyways, we made it. Oh, geez. <laughs> Here she comes. So we're gonna make it into what you normally do not see. So let's do it. That would have been the entrance right there that you would have come down in. All right. Still a little shaken, but you gotta risk it sometimes, right? So here we are. this it's like some kind of crazy little tunnel visitors don't really come back here often this is crazy now this is awesome it's like an old tunnel in the corner of Fort Washington and no one comes down here. Guys, I feel like we're one of the first to do this. All right, now that we're out of the tunnel. That's really cool. So looking around, I discovered there's something else. I was just taking a peek and look, an Urbex path, Urbex highway we call them, just led me right to this bad boy. Look at this. Again, it's something else that no one ever gets. And it leads me right to it, look. How nuts is this? We have a past, we have a past uh, where they want you to go. But you know me guys, what you're seeing right here is actually where another uh, battery cannon would be to face out upon the large river, what you have here that goes into Washington DC. And it uh, looks like they once had lights on it. Yeah, it looks like it was once lit up and this is probably where they bunker it down make sure it don't blow in the wind ah just kidding joke we're gonna go down here now this part is abandoned so that's what i had to say when i said so earlier in, in the video is this we're gonna take you to places that are abandoned i've never seen this not even fort armistead this is like a miniature version of Fort Armistead. Oh wow, what is this? It was like a more modernized brick. It smells bittersweet in here. Wow. It's crazy. Let's get down over this way and see what this is about. Oh my gosh. It 
Sonic Boom. Looks like someone made a map. Oh wow, you can actually see down through to the other rooms. Yeah, this house something look dragon tail. This is like a hidden treasure, guys. Really cool. Let's go look at the rest of it. Same type. Something used to be there. Looks like the old doors are busted. Of course, this room is probably one of the last rooms. And uh, it's a little bigger, but same deal. Yeah, no more rooms, but this one here, you can see back where I was, where I was. Oh, look at that. Another, another place for a battery cannon. Guys, if you have any idea what this is, a slides in and out, let me know. That's just amazing. It's purposely still intact. Look, really shiny bricked room. It was like a, you know, like a shower room or something, like something to keep. The brick is so shiny that it keeps everything clean. I have no idea. Something for water. There's a drain right there. I don't know. Walk on up this way. Now this is a view. It's away from the fort itself where everyone goes. And I can see more of the view. Again, this is another, we need to have another battery cannon. I love these little Urbex highways. They just guide you to the perfect places. I mean, spots that are made for gems and we found two of them, guys. Two of them. This is awesome. Today has already been great that just topped it off but let's travel the rest of it here and see what else we have look at this massive place like an old front entrance way and it looks like it goes right in as well as right down to that part of the fort. Oh, wow, steps. Oh, it's closed. It's, it's a massive entrance, just massive. Those doors are like, Two of me. Looks like something out of the Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. <laughs> it really does. It is literally the telly topping hill. Telly topping house. Let's definitely go and check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yo, what? This is probably a furnace, to be honest with you. No, it's the Telly Tommy Hill. Never listen. <laughs> Look. Wow. 
Oh, that goes in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, man. Look at this. This little cubby hole is like six foot, seven foot tall. Oh, my gosh. I wonder where this goes. It was once a tunnel, I bet. But it looks like they closed it off. They put all these bricks and stuff in it to, uh, you know, keep people from actually keep people from actually getting in. Oh, it's a cricket spider. It could go further. I just don't know. It looks like to me it stops right there. That's pretty cool. That's super cool. All right, so we made it through the fort uh, onto the side lines where you're not supposed to be, down through a little tiny cubby hole, tunnel, whatever you want to call it. And now we're going down to one of these um, places for the battery cannons. So let's go down here and check this one out. Okay, just like the one from where you're not supposed to be, this one looks just like that one. So I imagine it's got the same kind of structure. I'm guessing that would have been a way in and they bricked it off. Let's go up the stairs. I imagine it's the same deal that it is because you never know. Hi guys. Hey, it's nice meeting you here. <laughs> So I guess that's after the British invasion or whatever, uh, I guess you got stuck here. I did. Huh? I did, I did bring that. <laughs> I didn't want to be a red coat anymore. <laughs> oh, this one's bigger. But again, same deal. Now let's go up here with Shani and explore the tippy tops. The tippy tops. The tippy tops. And take in the view. So to give you guys an idea of just what exactly I'm getting around and doing, uh, there's these um, plankards around, and this one says it's the water battery. So I'm guessing all of this had to do with um, this thing called the water battery. Uh, again, I'm not too much on um, war history, let alone World War history. Um, just never been into that type of thing in history, but uh, that's exactly what this was. So just for those who want to know and curious, here's what it is. Please feel free to pause and to read. So we are back here at another battery fort. I'm starting to read up on this place a little by little, but um, this one is right at the cuffs here of Fort Washington, and this one's kind of fenced off but um this is the, the biggest one here but yet we found a way in look oh look at that this is crazy we're on the very top of it we're going to have to find a way down. And I think the way down is right here. To actually venturing inside. It's a manhole cover that goes all the way down. It's dark, pitch dark inside. It's poison ivy actually over here. Look at the stalactites. Oh, 
the stalagmites, all the calcium buildup. Dead ends right here. Oh, this is awesome. I know I keep mentioning it, but Fort Armistead, otherwise known as the Baltimore Catacombs, has just this high wall and a large battery um, cannon rotating um, artillery roundabout, whatever you want to call them things. But um, yeah, look at this. and all the steps you can take across there. Oh, this is so cool. Again, guys, we are taking you where kind of really not supposed to be. And you know us by now. Man, this is awesome. Taking you around the inside of this battery fort, I'm gonna call it. They all have different names, and the more I journey through here, look at this. The more I journey through here, I'm starting to find out more and more about this place. And just like Fort Armistead, you have these little racks here that just go to nowhere. That down there, if I go down, actually I imagine if I go down one more level, I can actually get down there. This is amazing. I mean, look at the, look at the stairs. Yes, this, this wasn't just for the Revolutionary uh, War to help protect us from the British at the time that we were trying to uh, defend ourselves against. Um, this was also for like other wars as well to protect um, the sidelines here of Washington, D.C. in case anybody uh, coastal were to try to invade. And I wonder, well, let's go on down this way, see if we can find another area. I imagine we gotta go back upstairs, back around. For here, another empty room with some pipes. It looks like once an elevator to get down to the basement part of it. Might have been an entrance way, but I think I might have found where to go. And with this one here, it's the same type here, but these are the bigger guns. Well, the bigger artillery cannons that were placed here. And they were huge. They would actually, um, hydraulics or whatever they would do, uh, whatever the decades or the technology, but they would point them over top of this, this wall and point them towards... Uh, where the invader would be down there. Gotta be careful on this one here because it looks like it's a path not really taken much. It smells like mint. Look at the old uh, staircase there. And it's another system. This time it's a few doors. I mean, 
look at these intricate staircases. Like one would pop up, would somehow go in there. These two would come down from the second floor. Oh, that's a little creepy. Oh, these are cables. Yeah, I gotta be careful with this. Just in case. I doubt if it is live wire. Another one of these, I imagine that too goes, okay, so I believe it does go down to the first floor. It would be with another rail. Actually, this one, this rail is more in place, less rotted, rusted actually than uh, the other one. I feel a nice breeze coming from there. It's a little creepy, but it's nice at the same time. Okay, so yeah, I found a way to get to the very bottom. Have to watch out for these stairs here. Once more, the very... Oh, gosh. These stairs are a little rusted and broke. And it looks like to me, down these stairs, and bam. We got it. All these bones. Oh, it feels so good down here. Oh yeah, here we go. And that would have been where I guess like an elevator shaft it looks. In this big area, it looks more modern. It actually dead ends right here. Like I said, this has been used for like way too long. Hey, you must have took an easier way down here than I did, because I... Did you go down the ladder? Actually, I didn't. I walked oh. down the front. Oh, see, I was going to go up those ones. There. Look. But I'd found... Uh, store, um, stairs that go to nowhere. Yeah, well, they used to be a door. Yeah. But you found what? Um, so I went in there, and it was just like another little cove area. So I keep calling them dungeons. Guys, I know they're not dungeons. It is a dungeon. Me it's a dungeon. from London, everything's a dungeon. But in there, I found the way, you know, did you go in there when you stood up the top and you looked down and it just kept going? Oh, that's yeah, that yeah, yeah, there. that's, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 there's two of them. One there, oh, <laughs> if I saw that, I would have got down that yeah, way. Yeah, this is literally what I just said. I was like, wow, well, there's a ladder. <laughs> there's been lights that they had in here at one time for, like, when people walked in here. So I guess at one time it was actually open to the public. What is this? Yeah, it had to been lights. And then they would have this thing over top of it to make sure you can't just bust the lights. And there's an old gate. Look at that gate. Look at all the water. Yeah, I literally just went swimming in that. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. If I can. Oh yeah, okay. So that's all this is. No idea what that is. It could be a place for like a furnace where they throw in coal or something to keep a um, ventilating system. I don't know. I don't know. And walk out into this, away from this puddle again. There we go. And this muddy room here. This is a bigger one because it's got more. There's a gate right here. With a hole. Huh. That same deal there.
Yeah, this is getting pretty crazy now, back in here. Look at the spider crickets. We're like in a remote area right now, and this is another battery fort. And this is getting kind of crazy. So you can't go up this way. Let's get it off. It's another maze. Oh man, look at all this. What's this? Oh, don't tell me that goes somewhere else. Oh, thank God. Look at the gates. This is pretty cool. Welcome back in here. Oh man, that goes, Jesus, that goes back somewhere. There's the way to get to the bottom part of it. Oh, this one goes in deep. Another room. All the glass. That's just not glass, it's shell. It's another room. Storage, I would think. Oh, that's tile and brick. That's just brick. Look at the gate. There's this little cubby hole here that has been blocked off. There's a bigger room. I wonder what this is about. I've never seen this before. It's kind of odd. It kind of scares me. Like Silent Hill echo. It's so loud. Ah, falls a hammer. So if I didn't already explain to you guys, this is another, uh, another battery fort. It's more remote than the others. And it's getting kind of late. Oh, no, 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 no. I was gonna find someone dead back in here. I don't know where that big thing is. I'll back out this way. And you come up. Okay, so here's another battery, gun battery, swinging uh, deal here.
Don't know what that's all about. Trash cans and concrete cylinders. Looks like large pallets. Stick on vultures. Oh, that goes down in. Yeah, no, thank you. Is there a room that takes you down to it? No, it's concrete. I'm gonna be careful when walking because there's little pegs here. On the ground, and I don't want to fall on them or trip on them. Look at that stacks of hay. That is literally stacks of hay. Let's keep walking here. Until we find something. What is this? Another room. I'm on the other side of that blocked off area. Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. It's one of the track um, rails there. That's cool. That's like, that's got something to do with this uh, base here. And these, I would say, have something to do with it as well. That's another one of those weird looking things. Ah, found a way. It's another one of these rooms. One of those cables. Oh, okay, I guess that would have to do with uh, the railing, I'm guessing. Not too certain. How rusted it is. Oh, okay. Still way back up there. I was up there a minute ago. Of course, this, uh, I want to say Ford, always do. But this base here wants to, uh, the mirrors, same as the other part. Yep. Back down there to another empty room with a rusted gate. Another one of these deals. This one's pretty cool.
It's a shame though that these don't get much attention like uh, Fort Washington, although this is still a part of Fort Washington. It's just so secluded that it don't put much attention and or money from what you see into um, keeping this alive and well. This is here to slowly decay, even though if it's made of concrete and steel or iron, this is gonna slowly one day collapse, crumble. What are these rooms? These are storage rooms. Oh, look at that. A little window, walk through here. Uh, so I, was, I was getting excited because I thought that was actually stairs. Yeah, no idea.